So what do we have here? This is a 1966 H&R 929. It's in 22 long rifle, nine shot cylinder. I bought this gun in a lot of uh, parts guns, guns that were broken and needed various repairs and whatnot off a gun broker. I uh, V blasted it, gave it a matte uh, blue finish. It originally was a tapered barrel, but I swapped it out for a little three inch bull barrel just to, uh, you know, have something different. I never made this gun in this configuration. Bought uh, some reproduction, old school uh, ivory look plastic grips off of eBay. And they look okay on there. I'm gonna shoot it out here on the range and see how she works. Okay, we spare no expense out here on the mint range. There's our mint target. And we're about to fire nine rounds out of the old school 1966 H&R 929. Um, it's been under a little bit of a restoration job, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna go we're gonna go single action this time. So you can kind of look over the top of the gun and barely see the target there. See the looking through the phone camera here. Okay, we got our McTarget set up. Let's try for some double action H&R 929. Just one more uh, little safety uh, memo here. Uh, something I forgot to mention, this gun is uh, fired with a firing pin on the hammer, as you can see. So this is one of those guns that was built before the transfer bars got to be the big thing with, uh, you know, Colt and Ruger and whatnot in the 70s. So this gun is, a, is actually a 1966 model. So this gun does not have a transfer bar. So this is something you would not want to carry with a, a round under the hammer to bump this hammer uh, into the uh, 22 round it could go off in your pocket or whatever so uh, yeah, I don't know why you'd actually uh, probably carry this thing anyway but if you had it in the tackle box or in the glove box of your truck or something you'd want the hammer down on an empty chamber so that way if it does get bumped it doesn't set the round off and that's why they came out with transfer bars so that's what that means so you can see there's uh, there ain't nothing but a firing pin hanging off of there so that's uh, trouble in the making if there's a live round under the hammer. So that's what that's all about.